<laughs> you know, you're about a foot and a half off the ground right now. That's good. All right, David. You haven't spent much time in the Tundra, have you? No, I haven't. What's our wheelbase? It's about 145, so it's comparable to an F-150 okay. or, um, or a Chevy. So it seems like we have enough clearance and enough traction, yep. no drama. Nobody's ever gotten stuck in dirty D's, although it looks really bad. Yeah, but it's actually it's not, not as bad. Yeah. It but just, this course is all about getting harder and harder as it moves along, right? Yeah, it does do that. This is the most off-road capable from the factory Tundra you could buy right now. It's, of course, it's a crew cab, shorter bed, five and a half foot bed. It has very special suspension that we'll show you in a second, Fox shocks. It's got Wild Peak Falcon tires, AT3Ws, which are just under 33 inches tall. When I change modes, I have sand, I have automatic, okay. I have mud, and rock crawl. We're gonna be doing all those. Engaging in the rear locker. And I'm gonna climb. Gonna do it very, very slowly like always. We've taken many, many other trucks up this, including the Silverado 5900 Trail Boss, including the Silverado ZR2, Ford Raptor. Piece of cake, very impressive. So that was actually no drama. No. And uh, quite easy. I think it's a testament to the tires as well. Uh, these Falcons, I would say they're pretty good. They're working quite well right now. And you get these with the factory? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's exactly how the truck rolls that's out the factory. No. By the way, it's built in Texas. Yeah, yeah. That's the great thing about Toyotas. Yeah. So this is David's Folly now. So it's a very tight corner and I'm trying to use the cameras because we laid down some rock, right? You put some rock down here? Mm-hmm. That way it keeps you a little tight from running over the bushes. All right, you're good on the chin. Yep, you're good. Keep coming another three feet. Keep coming, keep coming. Okay, now we got a tire off the ground. Hang on, let me get that. <laughs> you know, you're about a foot and a half off the ground right now. That's good. back up a little so just because this truck is a full-size crew cab you have to negotiate these corners with some caution and precision hey david they just lowered the rear glass oh cool you get a little of the fall smell my seat belt is locked because i'm i'm inclined it won't come out at all no well you just have to do this obstacle without seat belt all right so i did get out of the truck I got back in, I'm angled, and it's approaching 30 degrees, and my seat belt doesn't want to come out. I'm still in four low with my rear uh, axle locked. And I'm going super slowly, and this is the most difficult I can make it because I don't have any momentum. How's my belly? You're okay right now. I'm in the truck's belly. You're gonna clear, I think. Oh, got half inch. Okay, we're dragging. We're okay though. Okay, I've got That's skid what, plates. That's what it's for. That was only the gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> that was only the gas tank. We put a scratch or two in it though. Well, that's what it's for. Woo! I don't know, Andre. Is that my frame? Yeah. I I think we have to abandon this one. Okay. I do, yeah. I, I really don't want to scratch up the frame. No. Doing the, uh, it's going to catch the muffler. Okay. And that one's a little more visible, whereas okay. that plastic part would be easy to fix. Okay. On the gas tank. Let's right. hope you can go backwards now. Oh yeah, no problem. Nathan's crack's a little different story. What's up? Mainly because the departure, the approach and departure angle are quite dramatic. It's kind of hard to show on camera. It is. Yeah. Yeah. 
it doesn't look nearly as dramatic on camera as, as it, it is, is in the real life. Yeah. Tell me when to stop. You're get you're good. Get ready to drop. Driver side's gonna drop now. But it's gonna go quick. Yep, turn this way. Yep. You're okay still. Yep, now we're coming up. Yeah, keep coming this way. That one's gonna be close. All right, you're coming up now. My chin is okay? Yep. Straight, yep. Just like that. Okay, now straight. All right, let me get to the back. Front end's good. Wow, that's surprising. That's really good. All right, we're almost on the hitch, but the bumper's okay. Okay. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Shut her down. Let's start stacking firewood. All right, let's stack. I haven't told you how much this truck costs yet. How much? Uh, 74,000. I mean, nothing surprises me anymore, Andre. <laughs> I mean, you just drove a $104,000 GMC. Heavy, GMC yeah. so. so David brought firewood. Kind of like stacking rocks in the, in the hills. We're about ready to drop onto the firewood. Okay, it's a better view. Go forward just a little more. Okay. This part is, is what we're worried about here, yeah, right? right there. Yep. Let's let's take it easy. You're still you're okay. It's gonna come up nice and easy. Yep. Yep. We did it! Woohoo! Woo! Okay, David. So this way is Cottonwood Creek. Yeah, and I've done a lot of work down here. I, after what what happened in Nathan's crack? Yes. I don't think we want to be no, here. No, this is deeper. This is this is way too much. But you see all this crap I put in here? Yeah, I see so, a little... <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> David. <laughs> I'm okay, but... Oh, your rear look end at is... My butt. <laughs> You've got some Terra. <laughs> David. <laughs> David. What? Excuse me. You, uh, you've got some terra on your pants. Yeah, it is. It is a little, little terracotta. Ter terra firma. I, I think we're gonna skip Cottonwood Creek. Okay, David. So Tommy's demise has really two sides. Yeah. The really nasty one, and a kind of a bypass one. Yeah, only short wheelbase jeeps with 40-inch tires <laughs> ever go through that one. I mean, this part, it's, it's once you get into here. That's really soft. That, it's pretty soft. So yeah, I'm gonna try. So to put, there is a way, yeah, to put a tire, tire on there. there. I'm gonna put my front tire there and there. Okay. And then uh, we'll see how I do before we decide whether or not we need to put firewood in this hole too. Okay. <laughs> I'll film you. Okay. Okay. Slowly. Okay. I hit hard. Wow. This is David's truck. What did you get? Uh, so I I definitely bottomed out on my uh Did you bend dick. your license plate? Oh I bent my license plate. Well chin is good, it's gonna come up here pretty quick. Yep, it's coming up. Coming up. Okay. Woo, hold on. Should I back up? Well, we're starting to push logs. Should I, should I back up? Yeah, back it back up. Uh oh. Hold up. I am the locked up. Is... Yeah, keep going. She's digging. Yeah, there you go, turn a little bit. Now you got it. All right, problem is we're missing, you're dropping down and missing this one log, so just over a little bit. Yep. 
Yep. Yep, don't give up now. Keep going. Keep going. Our logs are moving. We got to keep going. There ain't no backing up now. Okay. How's my uh, direction of travel, okay? Yeah, you're, you're perfect. You're climbing up on the last log now. We're good. Okay, now you're over it. Okay, now keep climbing just like that. And my chin is okay? Yeah, your chin's fine. Yep. Yep, passenger. Passenger. Okay, now keep climbing until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay, six more inches. That's easy for six you to say. Inches. Okay, whoa, whoa, right there. We wanted to show you guys another look, another look at this. Maybe this is the picture, David, the thumbnail. Yeah, this could be the thumbnail right here. Yeah, I kind of got us in a bad way. I mean, I think we can get in out a of good this. way. Yeah. I mean, so. So if we drop there, we're done. Something bad could happen. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so I t I've taken two logs out of there and put two logs here. Yes. Now I got to take this next one which is buried. Yeah, which is maybe we should stack some firewood. Yeah. Might work. What do you think? Let's see how deep how deep this is. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. It's that deep. I need I need at least one more log. This is a big one, dude. It's a big one. Oh, this is perfect, David. <sighs> Except we just built a giant bridge. <laughs> yeah. What if we throw it lengthwise? Yeah, that's a better idea. Okay. You good? All right, Andre, look here. We've put a log parallel to the crevice and we filled it full of firewood. Yeah. We're just worried about this tail end, so. Take it nice and easy. Talk so far, to me. so good. So far, so good. Our tailpipes are dragging, but we're lifting. We're lifting. They're barely dragging. We're all right. Come up out of there. We're good. I think we got it. Wow, and very slow too. Obviously, I'll be doing some more Whew. trail work because I don't want to be doing that again, playing in the mud. We have home free hill. Yes. But we have the same problem. It's, oh, the nose? I mean, I've thrown a bunch of rocks in here, but it's the nose. Oh, how about we go the entryway? All right, let's go out. How about we go out this way? Uh-oh, he lost his axe. With the, <laughs> David, <laughs> so at, that was a tough. Look at me. So if this doesn't look like it's a tough course, <laughs> yeah. uh, it is a tough course. I sacrifice for the team here. Well, thank you. Yeah. So I was saying a little bit inside the truck that they also showed about a year and a half ago the Trail Hunter version of the Tundra. It's a concept, you know, a little bit higher a little bit bigger tire, yeah. a little bit tougher suspension, you know, for extra weight, and then bumpers. 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 Yeah. That's, that's but, the biggest beef I have. Yeah, but it's not, you know, the traction system of this truck is amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. And the tires are great, and the right. skid plates, it just needs a little bit more approach and departure. I, I know why. I mean, you know, they have so many constraints. Yeah. They have to get the fuel mileage. You know, back in the old days, like my blue truck, the bumper is where it's at and it's steel and it takes a lot to destroy <laughs> yeah, it right? yeah it just you know if, if you want to go off road you better plan on getting a new bumper <laughs> yeah or uh, you can build up your truck as well yeah so like we said you know this truck kind of all in it doesn't have a lot of options it's a tier d pro yeah seventy four thousand bucks yeah. and well you've made the trail a little bit easier <laughs> but it's also harder in nathan's in nathan's crack there. yeah i mean we've taken some built out vehicles this isn't really built out. it's factory it's factory yeah so i mean it can do half the obstacles with no problem which is great yeah 
So it's it's very <sighs> capable. It's just not as capable as we need it to be for here. For, for this one. It was fun though. All right, it was really fun. And also next time we can climb the other section and do home free. We just, we just can't damage this no. one. No, yeah, it's not yours. Yeah. Which, can we take your truck? Come by to altfl.com for everything automotive in one place. And uh, we'll be doing more stuff out here. Thanks for letting me be here today. Thanks.